What kind of people do you have around you when you're at your breaking point? Huh? What kind? Because see, when you're going through, if you ain't got the right person in your corner, oh, I, w I wish I could talk to somebody. Uh, if you ain't got, oh, hit somebody and say, if you, just don't, if you don't have the right person, you're going to do what you want to do. It ain't going to come out good. Look at this. Look at this. The focus shifts from them. And guess what God says in his word? In the book of Psalms 116.12. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me? I'm getting, ready, I'm getting ready to slap you upside the head. Guess what? Anybody want to know what? Guess what? These that were under David said, what can I render under my leader for all the benefits I received as being a part of his life? See, we keep trying to be mystical. I love the Lord. Don't give that. I love the Lord. And God puts a leader in your life. And he fixes your marriage. He uses you to be strong through the storms of your marriage. He may, amen, you might have to go through the trouble, but enough word came out of the vessel to give you strength through the desert. And my God, you get yourself together. You're stronger than you ever been. You got more insight than you ever had. You've been running for a long time and the devil still can't conquer you because somewhere in there, your leader gave you a word that you bust the devil down. You broke his back. You were encouraged to run another mile. Oh, what can I render? I felt like giving up, but my leader spoke a word, and because I held in there, I saw a blessing in my life. I didn't know God like this, but I came into God of deliverance. And I had so many problems, but somehow, some way, God used that speaker to speak a word that changed my life. What can I render? If I got to go through the Philistines, if I got to go through the Amaleks, I, you ought to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, is your leader worth your sacrifice? Prove it, prove it, prove it, prove it, prove it. Put their lives in jail. Said, I believe he's worth it. I believe she's worth it. All things ain't, amen, going in my favor. But if I ever hear a desire, I don't care what it costs me. I might have to fast a couple of days in the week. I might have to deny myself a couple of things. But if I ever hear a desire, I'm gonna break through. Cause I'm a breakthrough. Tell your neighbor I'm a breakthrough. They broke through. And all of a sudden David saw a cameo. In the background of their mind, they said they loved their leader. And guess what? They put their lives into jeopardy. Some of you have put your lives into jeopardy. And my wife and I, we sure love you for it. Because you could have found somewhere else to go. But you thought, amen, this was worth another, amen, stab in the back. You thought it was worth another disappointment. You thought we were worth it to stick and stay. You know they've been pulling on you for a long time because you anointed to carry a service. But you thought enough of your leader to say, I can't go nowhere because he's been mighty good to me. I may have not known him as long as somebody else, but I got enough information that I'm not going to give up and turn around. I'm Tell your neighbor, I'm determined to go all the way. All the way with Jesus. Woo! Woo!
breaking point. Next time you have one, don't call Mad Joe. He got too many problems of his own. Don't call Crazy Sally. She might put you on the corner. But you better call your leader and say, man of God, woman of God, I feel I'm at a breaking point and I just don't know what to do. I, I want to work from the Lord. And guess what your leader's going to pick up the phone? Not the phone you talking on, but the phone in their heart and say, Lord, do you hear their cry? I, Lord, they need a word from you. God, can you help them right now? And I heard the response say, yes, I can. Oh, yes, I can. Hit somebody say, God can help you right now. If you need some help, God can help you right now. Who are you calling on in your breakthrough hour? I'm finished. Who are you calling on? Breaking point. When you're at your breaking point. Church always.